hope you guys are having a great day. So we left off, we were at 1930, the uh, Crystal Beach Park Municipal Airport, the airport's out west of town. Uh, Crystal Beach Park, that's where I, uh, if you've seen in my other videos, where like I did the video for the... Uh, the boat. Yes, the speed boat, the RC boat, that's where we did that at. And the 4th of July video, that's where all that happened at. So, we start out here on 1931. Just go ahead and camera on that. 1931, construction began on Highway 270, ceiling to Oklahoma Panhandle City, dedicated Crystal Beach Park. 1932, drought hit 32, or 1932, drought hits Great Plains. L.L. Stein's first national bank failed at 719 Main. And I don't think there's a bank there anymore. In 1933, Woodward Livestock Auction Market held first auction. 1934, aviator Charles Lindbergh and his wife crashed northeast of city. BPW Club built clubhouse at Crystal Beach. So, northeast of city, that would have been northeast of city would have been off that direction. And I th do believe it was only just a few miles northeast of us, about four or five miles out. But Charles Lindbergh and his wife crash landed out there. So, and most people have no idea they ever came here. Yes, yes, most people have no idea. So 1935, it was Black Sunday, a dust storm in, that hit Woodward, which is also the same dust storm that blew all the way over into Washington, D.C. and brought up all the, the legislations about over farming, which is what, you know, because of the Dust Bowl era. So construction of the CCC camp began near Shaw's Lake, Bonus Springs State Park, which that is still there. That's four miles west of us, or east of us, I'm sorry. 1936, Crystal Beach Banshell completed og &E purchase, city-owned Western Light and Power. 1937, courthouse dedicated, 1600 Main. Construction started on Fort Supply Dam, the CCC built Boiling Springs Bathhouse. In 1938, Quality Potato Chip Company opened George Trigo, established Trigo's Western Ware, major blizzard struck in April. So, the courthouse at 1600 Main Street, which was built in 1937, is right next door. Which, if y'all remember correctly, I showed you that on the other video from, like, part two, I think it was, where they talked about how the uh, courthouse was built at 10th and Texas originally. And before that, when we went to the uh, the saloon up here, up the road, where they used to hold court in it, where Temple Houston and Sheriff Love were involved in a shootout. It's a pretty big building. So Trigo's is gone, huh? It's, well, you know, Trigo's Western Ware has been destroyed. It's now just parking it, basically, because that's where Chicken Express got put in. Trigo's Western Ware was a place where seamstresses went in every day and made jeans and hats, anything Western Ware. So, I mean, we've seen the courthouse in this video in the last one. Uh, we talked about where Crystal Beach is at. And we've seen the band shell and the, if you've seen the uh, 4th of July celebration video I dropped, it's in there. So, let's go on and go up here to the next one. A lot of these are historic events that there's really no places that we can go to to show you. In 1939, the Stock Exchange Bank relocated to Woodward, 907 Main. 
Roy Adams built Woodward's first supermarket at 812 Texas. Now that building is still there. We can go up there and I can show you that. That is actually just across the street from where the uh, saloon is, where the shootout happened between Temple Houston and Sheriff Love. Or well, where Temple Houston and Sheriff Love were involved in a shootout. Then in 1940, Northwest Electric Cooperative was established. That uh, electric company still around? Yes, yes they are. In 1941, World War II draftees left for military service, tag office robbed during noon hour. Now that's one I never heard about. There's lots of things on here that are most people don't realize. 1942, construction began on Army Airfield nine miles west of city and on Fisher Green Elevator, 905 9th Street. Can you see the green elevators from here? Yeah, they were on the last video. The intro on the last video where the train was going across and you could see the grain elevators behind it, those are the grain elevators they're talking about here. And we can still run over there and, and, and show you what they're looking, what, what they're talking about. The Army Airfield, nine miles west of the city, that is no longer there. No, it's, it's long gone. It's long gone. 1943, World War II soldiers trained at Camouflage Base at Boiling Springs State Park and Army Airfield USO Center opened to entertain servicemen. 1944, Army Airfield deactivated. So yes, there so was yeah, a, an airfield here, but... It went from 1942 to 1944. In 1945, Bowling Springs Lake opened as a swimming pool. World War II vets returned home. Now, Fort Supply at the lake, basically what they did was they just split the lake. They poured a wall of cement down it, down the middle of it. One half was the pond, where like a fish and all that stuff, and the other side was for swimming. Like a, a, like a natural spring is basically what it is, and that's why it's called Bowling Springs, because there's just a line of natural springs that run from out north of town all the way through town straight out south. But, and so they built the Spartan Springs where the forest is at, the forested area. Well, in 1946, Woodward High School football team won state and a trip to the Sugar Bowl. World War II vets deployed plane to use Army Airfield barracks as housing. Oh, developed plan. I'm sorry, I misread that. A plan developed to use plan. the Army Airfield barracks that they'd shut down yeah. into housing for people. Yeah, and that, none of that's there anymore. Well, none of that. So, now I know y'all heard me talk about this in some of my other videos. In 1947, there was a, a, a massive tornado that came through. It hit in the middle of the night. It was an F5 tornado. It killed lots of people. It caused, caused a bunch of damage, multiple millions of dollars of damage. So right here we are at 1947. Savage tornado hits Woodward on April 9th. Over 100 people killed. $3.8 million in damage. Red, Red Cross established tornado town at Army Airfield. KSIW first radio station aired. So the Army Airfield that they're talking about, that was uh, called Tent City, and that was actually at the uh, airport, our little airport we have out west of town. It's and when they say Tent City, it was literally tent city. hundreds of tents set up to house people that lost everything. Well, not just the people that lost everything, but all the Red Cross people that were there, all the, the uh, people from other places that were coming in to help clean up and, and rebuild everything because the town was pretty much leveled. Then there's a memorial for it. We'll go check out the memorial for it because it's just right over here off, not too far from us. It's the Centennial Park. So in 1948, Oak Park School built Kids Inc. organized. Kids Inc. is, I don't know if y'all know what that is. That's just a uh, an organization to get kids out to uh, play baseball, soccer, football, and just about any sport, basketball, you name it, it's there. They play it. 
I don't think they play hockey because, well, we're in Oklahoma. <laughs> There's nothing that freezes here. So, except for in the wintertime when it gets cold as shit. But. We're going to call it good here on this next one. In 1949, twice daily airmail service began. City installed parking meters, which you will not find a parking meter, in, meter anywhere in this town. There are, used to be the holes before they redid Main Street. There used to be the holes in the sidewalk from where the meters used to be. There's still some, but not where they rebuilt it. Right, but that's farther down on Main Street. So in 1950, the Woodward Municipal Airport moved to former Army Airfield. Terry Time Drive-In opened 34th in Oklahoma. And Terry Time Drive-In is closed. It is torn down. Now, when I was a kid, I remember going there. I don't remember what we seen. But the only one I do remember actually going and seeing was uh, E.T. at the drive-in. Now the same property is now where Lakeside Theater 6 is, which has six different theater screens in one right, building. Right, it's on the same property, but what actually where the screen sits, or where the screen did sit, is now actually a, a bank. So let's go have a look at some of these places. Like, we can go show you where the Terry Time used to be. I can show, explain that to you perfectly because if you don't, if you uh, go between the uh, the buildings where they've laid grass, it's still got the the humps from where you would park your car so you can watch the movie. And then we'll go, we'll run over here real quick and we'll go to the Centennial Park and I'll show you the memorial for the people that were killed in the tornado that they built. Is there anything else on here? We already showed you that. In the 907 building, we can go there too. Nine. Bags of soil to hold something in place, like a sign. So here we are guys, this is, this is it. This was the bank, the original bank that we were talking about at 719 Main Street. But it's really a corner lot. As you can see it's all boarded up upstairs. They don't even use the upstairs anymore for anything but like storage. But you can see it goes back. But yes, it goes all the way back to the alley here. But this used to be it. We've painted over it, but still. And you can see there's just Lots of history in that building. Where all the windows used to be. Where they redid the other entrance on the side here. I mean, it's just... And I really like the indentations up top. They really put some craftsmanship into these buildings. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of getting off subject here, but this is probably one of my favorite blocks in town just because of the old the old feel you get. And look at that. It looks like it's recently had a fire in it or something. The upstairs. Kind of smells like it's had a fire recently. Some of the cool old school architecture. Oh, yeah. meters? Yeah, there's one of the old poles for the meters. Turned into a flagpole. Turned into a flagpole. But this is this is the other side of the street where we were just at, shooting across, showing you the other stuff. And you can see the old building architecture here. This is another pretty old building. They haven't redone the cement, so they still have, yeah. where they cut off the meters. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about, where you could see. And that used to be all the way down Main Street, all the way down both sides, both sides of, the, of this street here. Which are now antique and boutique shops.
Yeah. The American Legion post. That used, used to, to be a. Uh, yes, there used to be a bell that hung up there. But that was a Mexican restaurant when I was a kid. And see that this building here. What I really like about it is, look at that inlay in the brick. Uh, and it goes all the way down. It's like they ran out of the dark brick and had to change to different colors. It's just really cool. You just don't see that stuff anymore. That construction technique, it's like it's dead and gone. I don't understand why. Toss ready. So there it is. There's the little plaque they put here at the bathhouse. It's from 1937. Now, when I was a kid, this was where you paid to get into the swimming pool. This was the concession where you paid for everything. The boys entered over there, and the girls entered over there. Now, this was also the bathhouse when, when the lake was still divided and used half lake and half this, uh, swimming area. So you can see the wall that so still runs in the water. There it is, it's underwater here. But that's the whole wall. And it would spread out across the lake. Yeah. So those are the original entrances and exits, right? That's one of them. Now this is where the pool was. Now, the fence came right. around here. And there's where the girls would come out of the showers. Yep. We were standing right here is where our swimming pool used to be. They filled in and put in the water park over there. Well, that was the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Right. And there's where the entrance or the exit was from the boys' showers. And there's where the staff and lifeguards and stuff came out of. And then this little area right here was a big wooden deck. Because out there was all the swimming area. Then they decided to tear that out and build the water park. Waste of money. Because it is a crappy little water park. What are you hitting me for? That's abuse. Now remember the bandstand? coming up on it. Now, that little gazebo, here, let's take a look at it real quick. This used to be a little swimming spot too for like three, four year old kids as long as they had their parents with them. It was only about a foot or two deep. This is the original wall to it. You see the old blue paint? That is the original paint from when it was a pool. And you can see where they just cemented it in and made it into a little gazebo. And then here is the band shell. When I was a kid, it was multiple colors. It was like rainbow colors. Each yeah, layer going like back was a different red, color. Blue, green. Right. Blue. They actually play movies here about once a month throughout the summer at night, free for the community to come out and watch. Yeah. So, and look, see, these brand, those bronze statues that were in front of the library, there's a set more right there. They are all over town now. It was part of a beautification process here in town that they thought it would help help make things prettier i guess I, I i don't know but anyway guys we're gonna call this video number five part five i think it is <laughs> wow uh be sure to like the video smash smash that like button that's fine with me subscribe to the channel 
leave a comment if you want. Hit the little bell icon for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next one.